guys! It's me, Devney Jasmine, guessing by the title. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my DS game collection. So, some of you may know, some of you may not. Um, I love DS games. I am a DS fanatic. Even as a teenager, I still play on my DS's all the time. I want to show you guys my DS game collection because I've been collecting games since I was like four-ish years old. I've got a medium, a medium sized collection um, that I will still be adding to because I still play on my DS. Before I show you the games, I'll show you my DS. So this is my very first DS. It was like a DS Lite. It's the DS Lite, it's in the color pink. Um, it just looks like that on the inside, it's very basic. Um, it's got the game cartridge and then also has this one where you can pull out and put games in there. Um, I've never used it, but I mean, I'm sure you can. And it also has this pen that you can take out and use on the touch screen. When I was like seven years old, my sister threw this down the stairs and I thought it broke and I was very sad. Turns out it wasn't broken, I got it fixed like years later, like I read tutorials and I fixed it. And so I've had this one for a long time. But that time period where I thought it was broken, I cried really hard and I was really sad. And so I decided to get myself a new one. So, well, I didn't get myself. So my parents were really nice and they got me another one for Christmas that year. Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. Like this greenish color and it's a 3DS. Back when 3DSs came out, I don't remember what year it was. Different because it's got a oh you can see yourself there. I got this one and then my sister started getting into DS's and this is hers She has a purple one Same model everything just it's purple now time to get into the good stuff the games We'll start off with this one steel horizon this game sucks some of you may like it I don't like it at all. That's what the game looks like inside the cartridge I didn't like it. It's about like, um, like as you can see on the back, it's all about boats and stuff. Wasn't for me. Raving Rabbids TV. I don't know if you guys ever watched this show. I used to watch it. I actually have one of the figurines. Like I have a figurine of the rabbit. It's like mini games that you can play with your friends. It's pretty good. I think I'd give it like five out of 10. This one, Rabbids Go Home, is more of an adventure game. Like you go through levels and stuff. Like it's a you play through it. From what I have played, it's not bad. It's, I would give it five out of 10. Tomodachi Life. Um, I got this one as brand new. What year did I get this? I remember paying like $30 for it when it, it was, yeah, yikes. It's, it's a good game. Like it, it didn't live up to the hype though. That's the one thing I will say. It's a good game, but after a while it gets kind of repetitive. Um, but yeah, it does get a bit repetitive like once after a certain point you're like, okay Like what do I do now? Okay, so this game I didn't really have a case So I took an empty case and I just put Spongebob on it. So I know it's the Spongebob game uh, Spongebob drawn to life and it's like one of those drawing games where you draw characters and then you Use your drawings as characters and weapons and stuff six out of ten. It was pretty good Clone Wars number three Lego game um, I really liked it. I played through all of it actually. Yeah, I've already completed this game. 7 out of 10. It's a Star Wars Lethal Alliance and it's more of like an adult game. It's rated E10+. If you're a little bit older and you're into Star Wars, you're gonna enjoy this game. I give this game a 6 out of 10. Animal Crossing. I kind of burned the game here. I don't know how I did that. That's what it looks like inside. Animal Crossing, I played the Animal Crossing um, City Folk, love that game, still one of my all time favorites. And then this was a really good follow up, like a real good. I've heard they're making another one, but I'm not sure. I also tried the mobile one, I didn't love it as much, but yeah, if you like Animal Crossing, you like the City Folk one and the one before that, you're gonna like this one, so 10 out of 10. Mario Party Island Tour. It's mostly just like mini games. If you don't want something super time consuming like a full on Mario game, this is a good one to go with. I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10. Kimmuninator. I never watched Kim Possible so I don't really get everything in there because you kind of need to know who the characters are a bit. Very good, I give it 7 out of 10. Disney Princess Magical Jewels. My very first ever DS game. I actually haven't even finished it. I'm still working on it now. I kind of gave up like when I was six. It's really basic because it's made for like three-year-olds, but 
you go on a quest with all the princesses, you go find jewels, and you defeat the evil witch lady. Um, I don't know what happens at the end. I haven't made it to the end. I'll let you know. And I'd give it 6 out of 10, so yeah. Next, The Simpsons Game. I love it. It's top notch, A1, 10 out of 10, one of my faves. It's a, a quest game, but it also has mini games in it. It is rated teens. I'm not sure if there's any swearing inside of it. I can't, I don't really honestly remember. It is a good game, 10 out of 10, would recommend. If you want to play it, go get it in stores now. It's kind of old, so it's probably cheap. Disney Camp Rock, 10 out of 10. If you enjoyed the movie, you're gonna like this game. It's basically the movie, but you're the main character and you kind of like add your own twist on what would have happened if you were in the movie. Hannah Montana, also another one of my favorites. Hannah Montana was my life growing up. It's a quest game, there's no mini games in it, it's not multiplayer. Would recommend, give it an eight out of a 10. Next up is Namco Museum DS. This game's more fun multiplayer than single player. It's basically all like old classic arcade games put into a DS. It looks like that. And I think I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. You know, if you're into arcade stuff, you're gonna like it. Adventure Time. It's a quest game. You can switch between characters. So I give it a five out of 10. Super Scribble Nas. It's pretty good for people who are really artistic and into drawing and using their own creations. I give it a 7 out of 10. Wait, never mind. This is the first one. This is the second one. Uh, again, it's the same type of game. Not exactly my cup of tea, but it was a pretty fun game. 7 out of 10. So after that, we have another drawing game. It's called Drawn to Life. And so it's another drawing game. It's an adventure. I'm guessing at the time that they made it, it was popular or just drawing games in general were popular because they made a second one. Another drawing adventure game, 7 out of 10, if you're into that kind of thing. Phineas and Ferb, that's what it looks like inside. It's basically just like the TV show, 8 out of 10, it was a good game. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have a DS or you've played any of those games before, comment down below, let me know, tell me what kind of DS you have, what games you've played, your opinions on them, I wanna know. Well, until next time, see you all next Friday. Bye!